Hello everyone, welcome back. Myself Rahul. So today we are going to solve a problem related to strings. So the problem name is decode string. It's a very famous problem and a medium level one. So let's go through the problem. Uh, given an encoded string, return its decoded string. The encoding rule is k encoded string where the encoded string inside the square brackets is being repeated exactly k times. Note that k is guaranteed to be a positive integer. You may assume that the input string is always valid. There are no extra white spaces. Square brackets are well formed. Furthermore, you may assume that the original data does not contain any digits and the digits are only for those repeat numbers k. For example, there will be no input like 3a or 24. Alright, so basically if we go through the example 3a to bc. Right, so the characters are given in a square brackets and there is a number before the opening square bracket and we have to repeat whatever is present in the opening and closing parenthesis right so a is present in the opening and closing brackets and before that 3 is present so we have to repeat a three number of times similarly bc is present in uh, opening and closing brackets and 2 is present before that so we repeat bc two number of times bc bc similarly 3a to c let's try to understand what they are trying to convey over here so let's take the first example it is 3a 3a to b c right so this is an example so what they are what they are saying is like whatever is present in a opening and closing brackets and before that there would always be a number k right we have to repeat this string k number of times so a would be repeated three number of times similarly bc is one string so we have to repeat bc k number of times k is two which means bc bc similarly the other example is 3 a 2 and c right so here it's a it's a bit complex string so what we need to do over here is first we consider this one so this c is present in opening and closing brackets and 2 is present before that so basically we have to see, repeat c two number of times so this part of the string is processed we can ignore this now comes a and this bracket as it is over here and this bracket as it is over here and 3 is over here right so we have now string acc with us and we have to repeat three number of times so it is acc acc and acc so how are we going to approach these kind of kind of problems is that like uh, they have opening and closing parenthesis involved here so whenever we encounter these kind of problems where we have brackets with us so the first approach that should come come to our mind is the concept of stacks let's see if we can solve this or approach this problem using the concept of stacks so let's take this example again 3a to bc 3a to bc so the uh, the concept of stacks in the parenthesis cases can be utilized like whenever we encounter any of the uh, index value we just directly push that in onto the stack and whenever like there has to be some popping mechanism as, as well right so when do we basically pop the element out of the stack so whenever we, i will encounter the closing brace which means it's the time that i have to pop some of the elements out of the stack right so taking this example 3a to bc let's create the stack so i start from this index this is not a closing bracket this is not a closing bracket if it is not a closing bracket i just directly push whatever is present at that particular index onto the stack so i push three then comes opening bracket opening bracket is also pushed onto the stack then comes a then comes closing bracket so whenever a closing bracket is encountered we have to make some decisions out of that uh, so when we encounter closing bracket we are going to pop from the stack till i encounter an opening bracket because that is the string that i have to consider right so here as well uh, there was an opening bracket here then there was some string over here then comes the closing bracket right so whatever the string was present in this part basically uh, before 
after the opening bracket so i have to consider that whole string so i am going to pop whatever is present onto the top of the stack till i encounter an opening bracket so a is popped from the stack i get a string a then comes the opening bracket which means this is the string i have to consider just a i will pop the opening bracket as well right but i have to also take into consideration like how many times this string a have to be repeated for that i have to pop another element from the stack so that i will get to know a variable suppose x is equal to 3 over here which will tell me that i have to repeat this string three number of times so i am going to repeat a a a over here this is the string generated after repeating three uh, a three number of times so a, a, a is the string and whatever a string i have got i will just push that string onto the stack again then i will go to the next index which is 2 then comes opening bracket then comes b then comes c then again comes closing bracket so here oh, closing bracket came so i have to uh, pop from the stack till I, till I encounter an opening bracket so first i uh, pop c so this c is popped then i see pop b so whenever i am popping the element right so i am going to append that popped character onto the front of the string that was already created so we c was already popped then i uh, pop b so i appended b to the front of this string then i encounter an opening bracket which means i don't have to pop any further elements apart from the one more time which will tell me how many times i have to repeat this string which i have created so this opening bracket is popped then comes 2 so i will keep 2 over here which will tell me x value is 2 so i have to repeat bc string two number of times which is bc bc and whatever string i generate i just push that onto the stack so what is the like we have reached the end of the input string so what is the final answer we are going to return bc bc and i will just append aaa to the front right so this is one of the example i will explain it with another example that is mentioned in the question uh 3a 3a 2c right so it's a good example let's try to understand using this example so first i am going to push 3 <clears throat> i have started from here then comes the opening bracket i just push it then comes a i just push it 2 again opening bracket c then comes the closing bracket so whenever i encounter a closing bracket i am just doing uh, two things basically <clears throat> i just pop whatever is present at the top of the stack till i encounter an opening bracket so i pop c from the stack then i encounter opening bracket so which means i don't have to pop further elements from the stack apart from one more time one more time is for the case in which i am going to get the number to tell me how many times i have to repeat this particular string so i will pop this and 2c is the basically x value which i have re received is 2 which tells me that i have to repeat c two number of times which is cc and whatever string i have created the, here, over here i will push it over again here cc and move ahead in the input string so i encounter another closing bracket over here so what i need to do over here is i just need to pop the top of the stack till i encounter opening bracket right so the top of the stack contains string cc this is popped now comes a so a is appended to the top of uh, to this string which i have created so the string becomes acc this is also popped this is opening bracket is also popped and again i have to pop a number right so the number is 3 like whenever i encounter an opening bracket in a stack i can be rest assured that there will also be a number present below that because it's already mentioned in the question that an opening and closing bracket would always have a number k defined over here so x value is 3 which tells me i have to repeat acc 3 number of times 
so the string becomes acc 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 that's the solution over here right let's see how we can uh, code this solution uh, i have already written the code for it in the c++ let's try to understand this solution so here i have created a stack of string right because i have to push the elements uh, over here like it can be a character uh, stack but i have created a string uh, stack here so this stack of string has been created i am going to iterate over starting from the starting of the string till the end of the string using this for loop uh, as of now let's uh, ignore this if condition i will tell you why it has been used so what i am going to do over here is i am just checking if the current index in the string i am at right so i am suppose at this 3 so it is not an closing bracket right so if it is a not a closing bracket then i just directly push whatever is present onto the stack for that like uh, it actually str of i is a character i am basically converting that into a string of length 1 using this string of length 1 and this particular character and i am continuing in the loop so i will reach again over here but if it is no if it is a closing brace which means i have to follow uh, these two steps right i have to pop the element still i encounter a opening bracket and i have to pop one element again so that i will get particular number right so that's what i am doing over here i am creating one string called temp that is uh, used to basically create this string like which has to be repeated these number of times x number of times so i am creating a string called temp and uh, while loop has been created over here so that i can continue pop uh, popping the stack till I encounter an opening bracket right that's what we did over here because the top of the stack was cc right so we popped this cc from the stack then we again popped one of the elements from the stack a then I encounter this opening bracket which means I, I don't have to pop further element from the stack so the value this value acc is being uh, held by this temp string and I am going to append whatever is present on the stack at the front of the string. Like I could have used str.append but that uh, would have appended to the end of the string. I want the top of the stack element to be appended to the front of the string. So that's why I, what I have done over here is whatever the current temp string is, uh, I am appending s.top to the front of that temp string and s.pop is there. Right, so when I am uh, basically leaving this while loop, I have to pop the opening bracket as well. So that's why this s.pop has been taken over here. Right. One of the things over here is, uh, yeah. So after this opening bracket also has been popped, I am pretty much sure that the next element present in the stack is a number. Right. But I have created the stack of string. Right. So I have need to convert this string. 3 into an integer so for that i am uh, used an stl over here stoi the full form is string to i integer so whatever present value is present at the top of the stack i am converting that to an integer in a variable x and i am just removing the top of the stack uh, from the stack right and whatever value is pre was present in the temp string i have to repeat that temp x number of times so that's what I am doing over here. Like I am written a while loop and uh, creating a new string called y and I am repeating temp string x number of times using this loop. So ultimately uh, this acc, acc, whatever string has been generated, right? This string has been pushed again to the top of the stack. That's what is being done over here. Right? Ultimately, whatever value we have, uh, on onto the stack so like when we are uh, completely uh, done the iteration over the input string so i need to pop the stack till the stack becomes empty right so in this scenario the stack was actually was uh, uh, not in this scenario in this in the first case the stack was uh, like after we have completely completed the iteration over the string right so it was a a a 
and BC, BC, right? So this is a stack at the stage when we had reached the final index, but we need to create the final string as well. So that's what is being done over here. Till the stack becomes empty, we have created one answer string and appending whatever is present at the top of the stack to the front of the answer string, similar to what we had done over here. And finally, returning the answer. Uh, coming back, why this if condition has been used? I will tell you one scenario where this will this approach will fail. So that is suppose we have number suppose called hundred BC, right? So according to the current approach, what we will do is we will push one zero one to the stack, then push zero to the stack, then again push zero to the stack, then push opening bracket, then C B and then C. And then the closing bracket comes up, we just pop whatever is present, C, B, and like that, right? So this is not a correct approach because 1, 0, 0, these numbers have not to be considered separately. Like it's not individual characters, it's a single number, right? So that's the check that I put over here. Like if the element that we are going to process in the iteration, if it's a digit, so this is digit is also in a functionality provided by the C++ already present in the library. So it checks if the number character that we are giving as an input to this is digit function. If it lies between zero to nine, then it returns true. So if, if it is a digit between zero to nine, then I am basically uh, accumulating, basically creating one string of numbers. So I start suppose from 100, this is the example, right? So I started from here, I am basically creating one number out of this. So one is a number, then I go to this. This is also a, a digit. So is digit, is digit function will return true. So I will append zero over here. Then I come over here. It is also a digit. I will come uh, append zero to this string. Right, so finally, whenever, when I then I come over here, it is not a digit. So is digit function will return false. So this is the string that I have generated. Right, so this, this is what I am doing over here. So this is the temp string. Right, so whatever temp has been gen generated, I am pushing that temp at once to the stack. So instead of pushing this 100, what I will do is I will push 100 at once and then this and then this and then this. Like this. And then I encounter a, a closing brace. So I am going to pop C, B, then opening brace I have got. So I will uh, pop that as well and x value will be 100. So I'm going to repeat BC 100 number of times and going to return the value. Right, so this is the code. Uh, yeah, let us try to run it. It's already tested anyways, but let me submit it. Yeah, the runtime and memory usage are on the uh, bit lower side so we can think of optimizing this solution as well so when i go to the solution uh, tab for this like you can search for the solution of this problem on geeks for geeks as well so when i check that after having my own solution is that like they have created a stack of characters instead of string and they didn't have to use these uh, stls over here like stoi like this right so that will basically so, so uh, save a lot of time and uh, yeah like you can uh, go through those solutions as well because like this is one of the approaches that i felt uh, is correct according to me but there are other solutions available for this problem as well which i feel like are much better so i would recommend like you go through those solutions and uh, yeah try to learn from those solutions as well and one more thing is that like uh, it's good that you try to identify the patterns out of the solutions of a problem so suppose this was a problem related to uh, parenthesis, right? So whenever a parenthesis problem comes up, so we should have a fair idea that somehow stack can be used in these problems, right? So try to learn patterns out of the problem so that you don't have to, you know, remember each problem. You can relate uh, whatever problem you have solved in uh, past to the problems that you are currently solving. Right, so yeah, keep on learning and uh, I will see you next time with another problem of Leetfold. Thank you everyone.